So this is part of a, a group of pieces that I'm working on um, that started during COVID. Uh, I started this uh, painting on yoga mats and um, uh, I don't know that I can talk about the piece individually because it, I see them all kind of like in what in a body of work, but um, the yoga mat is an is an intersection of a lot of different interests for me. It's uh, culture and history and uh, capitalism and uh, beauty and color, you know, like formal elements for, and also content. And um, what I started doing after uh, initially when, you know, in March, when we all thought COVID was going to be like a two week lockdown and then everything was going to go back to normal. I, um, I went through like a, a kind of like a numbness in my practice. Like what is the role of an artist right now? It seems really like uh, excessive and not important. Um, so there was about like six weeks where I just was like, what am I, what are, I think we all were kind of like, what is going on and what are we doing? Um, but what came out of that is me thinking about, uh, can't like, uh, how to preserve my stories and my memories and my, uh, practice and my body. And so, it came into uh, me making self portraits, which I haven't done very literally in a, in a long time. Um, that maybe that's not a true statement because I actually do have a lot of self portraiture in my work, but I wanted to uh, have a play of um, my body on the yoga mats, which uh, yoga is so, so much in line with like uh, thin white women in Western society that I wanted to interrupt that narrative and put my own brown body on the mats. Literally, I wanted to put uh, uh, nationalism specifically comes across in the in the sh in the piece that's uh, at Blaffer. Um, it's a conglomeration. These yoga mat paintings are a conglomeration of like many images. Uh, some of them are pieces of my own art that are like re appropriated into a painting where they exist in real life as a textile. Um, my body is in there. The queerness comes uh, a little bit to the forefront in these uh, matte paintings, maybe not so much in that one, but um, you know, there's like sexuality in them. And so I, I think that the mat literally becomes, um, which is a European invention, the mat. Uh, the yoga mat uh, becomes a real landing spot for a lot of my interests. And so I've been working on that um, body of work since the pandemic. Uh, so it's just been about a, I guess we're coming up to a full year, but I don't know if that answers your question, but the titles, uh, lengthy and uh, flowery as they are, are actually um, uh, tea bag fortunes so to speak. So all the titles are sourced from uh, like Yogi Tea and things of that nature. I'm at a point in my career as an artist where I know what's important to me and I know what like battles I want to take on. Uh, at least they change, of course, but the things that I'm focusing on um, and the things that spark my interest uh, are, are uh, what I make work about. Um, the material is sometimes found. Um, it's sometimes um, on a, it's accidental, but then I love like the intuitive nature of my practice. Like I, I don't do a lot of planning. Um, so I'm trying to think of like what is maybe in the show that maybe I could like tie this to. There's a lot of different pieces in the show. Um, the photographs, for example, there's a couple portraits. They were, uh, came about from a performance, um, like a couple different performances. So it's like, I'm, I'm starting to kind of like weave and kind of move around circularly in materials with the same kind of subject, if that makes sense. I feel like I like to enter 
the subject from dif different um, viewpoints materially as well. Uh, A, because I get bored easily and I, <laughs> you know, tend to, to, I don't like repetition and, and I, I just get bored in my practice. So it keeps me like excited and engaged. Um, but also it's, it's uh, how can I like flesh out this how can I like fully explore this concept, no matter really what the material is, whether it's like some fabrics that my mom gave me, or it's a, like a broken mirror that I just put up, which I've been doing a lot of new pieces on mirror. Um, it all kind of like comes through and either it's talking about uh, capitalism or uh, commodification, beauty standards, all these things. I think that that becomes quite clear. No, it's uh, it's usually the other way around for me. I'm really like a materially driven person. Um, I like all, I'm a sensory person, I will say. So, um, you know, like the, whether it's like a, it's typically like a formal touch or smell or color. Um, like I said, something that might fall into my life accidentally and I wanna just use it in my work kind of find its way there these kinds of like things that you don't plan in the studio and they just kind of like magically happen and so then it's like oh yeah that i'm on the right track this is all falling into place really nicely so